Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to Cat and Beats, and welcome to another quick tip on a Tuesday. Wait, quick mix tip on a Tuesday. Anyway, um, today's quick mix tip is going to feature some artificial intelligence from Ozone 9, and we're going to use the Master Assistant. I've actually already done this. We're going to take the Master Assistant's Dynamic EQ, and we're going to listen to where the Dynamic EQ is suggesting to cut in the actual master. All right. Now, in short, what I want you to do is click on your own song, click on the master assistant, click on next and let it just play, you know, play the audio. And what it will do is it'll spit out an EQ, it'll spit out dynamic EQ and it'll spit out a maximizer. Click away on the maximizer, close the EQ as well and take your dynamic EQ and quickly just press option or alt and just listen to whatever frequencies are popping out. Most likely, if you're doing four to the floor music, it's going to take out some frequencies that are poking through the mix a bit much. Now, the reason they put a dynamic EQ over here is so that the limiter is going to be able to do less work and make your sound cleaner uh, if need be. So it's really nice to have. But what I figured out is these suggestions, they will come from kick drum frequencies. So I was like, wait a minute. I had a troublesome kick drum over here and I thought to myself, hey, how about I just copy over the suggestions that came over from this track and they suggested this, this over here and they suggested that and that. And I was like, okay, how about I just copy that over into EQ8 and then literally copy the settings. So I have here 685 at minus 4 dB. So then I have here, 685 at minus 4 dB with a Q factor of 4.5, right? And I did that to these to these little things. And I was like, I wonder, I wonder what that will sound like if I just have a static Q on the kick drum, which is are the run frequencies that are coming through. And then I was like, holy shit, this is a mix tip on the Tuesday type of video because it's so easy to do. You finally now know where to cut in your kick. Check this out. So I have this kick here and it sounds like this. I was like, okay, that sounds different, but that doesn't make any sense. What does that sound like in the mix of the drums, for instance, the drum group? Instantly, when you just turn this on and off, you get a thicker, fatter kick. And I'm just like, instantly like, oh shit. So what the... Dynamic EQ accidentally did was help me figure out where those nasty frequencies are and help me mix that kick back into this track a lot better. If I turn it off, because it only makes sense really if you listen to it within the track itself, but for the drum track, you can literally hear that. For the overall track, it's that last little smidgen of like, Mm, to get your song to sound fatter. So that's basically it. One more time in short, just in case you missed it, put O's online on your master bus, do the little mastering assistant thing, turn off the maximizer and the EQ settings, go into your dynamic EQ, figure out what the resonances are and what are causing them. Most likely it's going to be kick drum resonances. Take your Ozone 9 suggestion, put it onto your kick thing here, copy paste literally these EQ settings. So you just click on them and you can just copy paste the frequencies and the EQ settings and the gain, put them into EQ8. Then use the skill knob if it's a little bit too much, that can happen, of course. Uh, for me, the skill knob was set there. And then try that out in your drum bus as is, and then try that out on your whole mix and master bus or the whole the whole song as you have it and then see if you like it i think this is fucking brilliant it really worked <laughs> all right much love take care i would really appreciate if you would click the little subscribe button i would really appreciate if you click the like button these kind of tips come 
every Tuesday. And if you're really into this kind of stuff, you can't wait every Tuesday. There's 260, 270 something videos over on patreon.com slash catandbeats that grow every week by a substantial amount. And um, it's all user-based questions. So go over there. I can go over your music. I can We can talk to each other if you have mixing, mastering questions. I can reverse engineer for you. It's a lot of fun. Uh, also, it will give you a 10% discount on uh, me mixing and mastering your work. All right. Also, in the description, when this song is out, the artist will be there too. I'm also interested who the artist is because I only know him by first name basis. But this song is sick. All right. <laughs> Much love. Peace out.